All right, Keith, I feel like we might be finally turning a corner as we, mm -hmm. we're about to hit the actual fall date on the calendar, right? Is the 21st? It is, yep, Sunday. Is that Sunday? And then we're actually going to start to feel like fall a little bit. Sure, which doesn't usually work that way in Maine. No. I would love if that worked that way in the spring. Hey, it's spring now, yeah, March 20th, it. so let's... <laughs> the, I actually think um, this is the closest one to calendar usually in Maine. Yes. Right? Uh, if yeah. you think about right. like, oh, and winter's supposed to start December 21st. Like, no, it has already right. It has already commenced at that point. Um, <laughs> we, we were tying some records, breaking some records in a few spots with high temperatures today. Some 80s out there still. I and mean, it starts to be, you know, quite an anomalous number with an average high of 70 this time of the year. Sometimes you get in these patterns where they just build on themselves. So in the spring, sometimes you get an upper level low pattern. You got a lot of showers. Every day is a little wetter than models, and it goes from there. And then dry patterns, sometimes it's the opposite, right? Today we had a chance of showers. Many of us were sunny almost the entire day, and the showers were here just offshore. So not a modeling failure, really. This was pretty well placed. But as these showers have moved west, a lot of them have died out. It's been just southern York County that's seen these showers actually come on shore. A couple of the islands um, into the midcoast as well have seen a couple of showers. But most of us have remained dry. The bulk of the rain is way out here. There's the low right down there. And the rain is rotating around it. We talked a little yesterday about how if this was a winter forecast, I'd be very nervous because there's a lot of moisture right out here. But the models are doing a good job. It's staying offshore so far and just streaming down across up Cape, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. So an isolated shower is possible tonight south of Wiscasset, especially otherwise turning cloudy. We'll see some fog along the coastline too by tomorrow morning. And I do think we are cloudier tomorrow morning than we were today, where it was just a matter of where you were located. So a lot of us are cloudy. We're in the 60s with an isolated shower around in the afternoon. But I mean, you look at this model, which did pretty good today, and there's really not much shower activity at all around on Friday, even into Friday night, and then we start to go and clear out on Saturday. By clear out, I mean dry out. It does look fairly cloudy Saturday and Sunday to me, and that's because this high that comes down is a little bit dirty, meaning it's, it's not really pushing these storms too far away. It's just carving out a little dry area for us, and so we'll see clouds around Saturday, Sunday, and then probably gets a little sunnier Monday into Tuesday. No surprise, new drought monitor came out and we have got an abnormally dry stripe up and down the coastline here and one into Greenville into about Holton too. Officially now the driest start to September on record in Portland with only 0 0.01 inches of rain, assuming it does not rain before midnight tonight. Probably won't. Either way, it'll be the driest start. We counted it yesterday. So yeah, we've got a couple sprinkles around. I wouldn't make too much of those though. Now next week, maybe actually some rain. Um, we were always a little skeptical of what this would produce for us for rain. Late next week could give us some real rain, question mark. Mm -hmm. um, but I put it in question mark because the pattern has not really yielded too much for us yet. Either way, you'll notice it is significantly cooler, 60s during the day, 40s and even some 30s overnight. So we'll get back to that yeah, more appropriate kind of Cooler. Sweatshirt in the morning sure. situation. Uh, the wave geek in me is noticing that waves are up. Big. Do we know how long that's going to be sustained? Yeah, Friday and Saturday. Also, uh, astronomical high tide those two days. So we'll have some minor splashover uh, flooding going on because of that low and the high tides. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Keith.